good YouTube, it's the Chris of Earth and Prophecy, and I'm back again with my reaction video. I mean, I'm back again with another reaction video, and as you can see, I'm rocking my 1970 Batman retro t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. But anyways, man, uh, today we're going to... Uh, Decipher who was the who, who was the greatest horror villains of all time. Now, there's a lot of great horror villains throughout the history of mankind. Um, but I'm just gonna do my top seven. Um, and that's just gonna be you know it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I did leave out your favorite, then you know my bad. Uh, this is just my personal favorite. Uh, so we're going to go from seven all the way to one. Okay. All right. So obviously uh, at number seven, we have Leatherface. Now, obviously Leatherface... Uh, what can you say about him? Uh, he, he's one of the greatest, not if the greatest horror villains of all time. Uh, you know, he carries around a saw with him. Uh, he has a human mask as a face. Um, you know, and his whole family is delusional and crazy. A uh, psycho, bunch of psychopaths, you know. Um... And he's just big. He's big and he's fast for a big guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. So, that's it. Um, number six. I have Hannibal Lecter. Now, I've never watched Hannibal Lecter. But I knew from watching the trailer. Um, that dude was crazy. That dude was a, a psychopath. Uh... Like, he could get anything and everything that he wanted. And he was just pure evil. You know what I'm saying? He was just pure evil. And number five, we have Michael Myers. Okay? Now, obviously, uh, the Halloween trilogy, it's great from start to finish. Uh, it's great. But I just never got into the character. You know what I'm saying? I think the character was like another ripoff of Jason Horhey. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just wearing a mask. And, you know, he's just carrying around a knife with him. And he's also immortal. So he can't die. So if you stab him, shoot him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he's just, he's just going to come back. Again. You know what I'm saying? Um, number four. They have Jason Horhey. Now, Jason Horhey... Um, Jason Horhey... I mean... There's really nothing that you can say about him. Uh, for, for the simple fact, he wears a hockey mask. He carries around a machete. Um, you know, and he can't die. You know what I'm saying? He's immortal. You know, but the only thing he's afraid of is water. You know what I'm saying? So if you surround yourself with water, then you should probably be okay. You know what I'm saying? I wish Death Battle would do Aquaman versus Jason Horthy. You know what I'm saying? But we all know Aquaman would have won because, you know, his power is, is connecting to sea creatures and he could just drag Jason down with him and, you know, let the sharks deal with him. Stuff like that. Uh, number That's number four. Number three, I have It. Now, It, meaning Pennywise the Clown, uh, he's just in a league of his own. Uh, there's really nothing for me to say about him. Um, I mean, he he can shape shift to anything. Uh, he can shape shift into your worst nightmare if you're afraid of spiders. If you're afraid of snakes, uh, you know he cannot be killed, and um, you know he's just one of those creatures that you just can't put a finger on on how to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Like you try everything. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's just one of those creatures that you can't really 
pinpoint on how to kill him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to this day, people are still trying to figure out how you kill Pinhead. I mean, not Pinhead, uh, it. So, yeah. Uh, in the macro verse as well, you know what I'm saying? So the deadly lights, if you look into his eyes, he could just open his mouth wide. And, you know, if you stare at it too long, you're just going to go night-night. You know what I'm saying? Number two is Freddy Krueger. Now, obviously, Freddy Krueger is my all-time favorite uh, horror villains because of Friday the 13th trilogy. Now, knowing... Now, the simple fact... The, the, the reason why I fell in love with Freddy Krueger was because... Um, he was just everything that you wanted in a horror villain. You know what I'm saying? Melted skin... A claw, razor sharp claws as as his hands. I mean, he has superpowers. Uh, you know, he could, you know, if 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 he can't kill you face to face, he could do it through your dreams. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I think that's why his nickname was the Dream Eater. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's even more deadlier because us as humans, we need eight hours of sleep. Whether you're a teenager, a baby, an adult, a citizen, a senior citizen, old people, you need eight hours of sleep or eight and a half hours of sleep. He could kill you in your dreams, and that's even worse. So you could drink a lot of Red Bulls as you want. You could drink a lot of coffee. You can have a lot of, you know, coffee patches, um, you know, on your arms and stuff. So... That's another way he can kill you. So you can kill you both ways. And as for my number one horror villain of all time, my favorite horror villain of all time is Pinhead. I mean, it's not even close. And uh, if you don't believe me, I wrote it down on a, um index card. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can, Is that upside down? Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. But um, Pinhead is my favorite of all time because um he's just that dude is just uh and I have the movies as well uh if I can find it um I can't seem to find my DVD that I had of him, but some here around. But anyways, I got the box, you know what I'm saying? This is the original box that he had in the movie. Um, hold on. I don't understand. I just had the junk. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right here. See, I can see. I have the DVD. This is not. This is not all the movies. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more, but these are just like the. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I guess these are like the best six movies that he had at the time. You know what I'm saying? And then plus, I got the box, you know what I'm saying, so, I mean, I talk it how I live it, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, Pinhead was my all-time favorite horror movie villain, um, if y'all want to disagree, y'all can, but, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, that's how I got the name Leviathan, you know what I'm saying, uh, because once he pulls you down, 
You know what I'm saying? There's really nothing you can do. You in his world. You know what I'm saying? There's no escaping. You know, unless you try to, you know, finesse your way out of it. Like, like, oh, I know a guy who, you know, opened it and escaped. And he'll probably say, oh, no, nobody escapes me. Something like that. You know, I'm trying to imitate him, but I can't. But anyways, man, uh, the limp, the f limp f configuration box once you solve it, your life will never be the same. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that that's the reason why Pinhead is my all-time favorite horror movie. Um, if you like Pinhead too, that's great. You know what I'm saying? But for the ones who don't, just watch the movie you, and you will know why. You know what I'm saying? You will know why. Uh, so that's my top seven horror movies of all time. Um... Again, the list is, uh, actually I had Jason, I actually had Jason number seven, I had Leatherface number six, I had, uh, Hannibal Lecter number five, I had Michael Myers number four, I had It number three, I had Freddy number two, and I had Pinhead number one. I was just improvising, you know, but, you know, that's just my order that I had them in. Um, but like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and till next time, same bat channel, same bat channel, I think. I don't know. But till next time, take care of yourself and each other.